Yashar Jasher 75. At that time, in the 180th year of Yashar El, going down into Mitzrayim, there went forth from Mitzrayim valiant men, 30,000 on foot, from the children of Yashar El, who were all of the tribe of Yosef, of the children of Ephraim, the son of Yosef. For they said the period was completed which Yahuwah had appointed to the children of Yashara'el in the times of old, which he had spoken to Avraham. And these men girded themselves, and they put each man his sword at his side, and every man his armor upon him, and they trusted to their strength, and they went out together from Mitzrayim with a mighty hand. But they brought no provision for the road, only silver and gold, not even bread for that day did they bring in their hands, for they thought of getting their provision for pay from the Palashitim, and if not, they would take it by force. And these men were very mighty and valiant men. One man could pursue a thousand, and two could rout ten thousand. So they trusted to their strength and went together as they were. And they directed their course toward the land of Gat. And they went down and found the shepherds of Gat feeding the cattle of the children of Gat. And they said to the shepherds, Give us some of the sheep for pay, that we may eat, for we are hungry, for we have eaten no bread this day. And the shepherds said, Are they our sheep or cattle, that we should give them to you, even for pay? So the children of Ephraim approached to take them by force. And the shepherds of Gat shouted over them that their cry was heard at a distance. So all the children of Gat went out to them. And when the children of Gat saw the evil doings of the children of Ephraim, they returned and assembled the men of Gat, and they put on each man his armor, and came forth to the children of Ephraim for battle. And they engaged with them in the valley of Gat, and the battle was severe, and they smote from each other a great many on that day. And on the second day, the children of Gat sent to all the cities of the Palashitim that they should come to their help, saying, Come help us, rather come up unto us and help us, that we may smite the children of Ephraim who have come forth from Mitzrayim to take our cattle and to fight against us without cause. Now the souls of the children of Ephraim were exhausted with hunger and thirst, for they had eaten no bread for three days, and forty thousand men went forth from the cities of the Palashitim to the assistance of the men of Gath. And these men were engaged in battle with the children of Ephraim. And Yahuwah delivered the children of Ephraim into the hands of the Palashitim. And they smote all the children of Ephraim, all who had gone forth from Mitzrayim. None were remaining but ten men who had run away from the engagement. For this evil was from Yahuwah against the children of Ephraim, for they transgressed the word of Yahuwah in going forth from Mitzrayim before the period had arrived which Yahuwah in the days of old had appointed to Yashar El. And of the Palashitim also there fell a great many, about 20,000 men, and their brethren carried them and 
buried them in their cities. And the slain of the children of Ephraim remained forsaken in the valley of Gat for many days and years and were not brought to burial. And the valley was filled with men's bones. And the men who had escaped from the battle came to Mitzrayim and told all the children of Yasharael all that had befallen them. And their father, Ephraim, mourned over them for many days, and his brethren came to console him. And he came unto his woman, and she bore a son, and he called his name Beriah, for she was unfortunate in his house.